Hey folks, it's Chris Thoreau here, and I'm excited to welcome you to my microgreens experiment series. I've been thinking about this uh, series for a while. Uh, really, it was prompted by sort of reflecting on the own ex my own experience as I did in 2009 when I was starting up commercial production. And at the time, there wasn't a lot of resources out there. There certainly wasn't the same number of growers. There were no microgreens forums whatsoever. And so really, I had to learn everything from scratch. And so I did all sorts of experiments with soil, sowing rates, crop uh, cover times, uh, crop cycle times. And through that, I was able to really get a sense of how different crops grew and establish a system for production. So there's a second thing that also prompted me to think about this, and that is seeing a number of what I'd call sort of vague questions on forums and incomplete answers to those questions, which really isn't moving people along in their, in their learning. Because microgreens are so uh, system specific. So what works for me here may not work in your home system or somebody's commercial system. So it's really important to do a lot of this experimenting to determine what's going to work for you. Now the forums and, and outreach are still really important and useful because it gives you a good starting point. But when you start doing a lot more production, specific details start to matter. So we're gonna look at uh, a whole bunch of different aspects of uh, experimentation in this series. We're gonna start off by looking at uh, sowing rates with a couple of crops, sunflower and wheatgrass. We'll look at covering times. Uh, we'll look at soak times for seeds as well. And that'll start to give you a sense of how these things affect your production and uh, what might work best for you. So I uh, hope you tune in and I hope you find this useful.